Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. It's your basic Sorgonomics here. And uh, please go check out, again, Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Uh, we have a lot of great, exciting news coming out this week. I uh, can't wait to tell you guys about it. And I'm uh, actually going to be working on that today, on this Thursday, after I record this thing. Yes, I'm still wearing the Green Whalers from, uh, from Yen's team. Uh, but anyways, the iPad Pro. The elusive narwhal of iPad Pro. Am I using that right? I don't know. That came up on Awesome Cast this week. I think I'm using that correctly. I'll, 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 the editors will tell me. But the iPad Pro is is the big thing that's out. There's no new regular iPad for the most part. They updated the iPad Mini, iPad Pro, thin, light, epic. And now you're thinking, why in the world do I want a giant iPad? Why in the world am I going to pay eight hundred dollars for this thing? Why am I going to pay high hundred dollars for the Apple Pencil? This smart keyboard that looks just like the Surface, but it's not running Windows. Oh, I can't wait for those ads to come up. Here's where we're at. Um, yes, it's $800, and it is going to be comparable to their Surface. And I, I have no argument for you if you're paying about the same price for, I think it's a Surface Pro starts at that price, for a pretty significant piece of hardware. Um which is running full Windows, which means you can run without any limitations a version of Photoshop, a version of your Office, a version of everything else. Now, I think we're at a point where some people... Um, that Surface is also going to come with all the problems of Windows. Now, that can be security. That can be everything else. Maybe you just don't like Windows. I think there's also a case that says, I like an iPad. I just wish it was bigger, and I wish it was a little more powerful so I can do a little more pro features on it. That's where we're at, right? Um, I have a friend that does a lot of artwork, and he has a giant Wacom tablet. Wacom? Wacom? Um, to the point where it's basically just a giant monitor that sits on the table and, and he has a touch thing and, and it connects to his computer, his laptop, and he's able to draw on it. I think this replaces that greatly. I think um, depending on the tools that are on here, and again, I'm not familiar so much. I, I, as an artist, illustrator, are you finding the right tools on here that it's going to make sense for you to have this big iPad Pro I, I can't see you using it by itself. This is my problem with the iPad. You know, you, you do X work on here, but, you know, they showed off some Adobe stuff yesterday. Uh, Adobe Mix, or, or Fix, I'm sorry, Photoshop Fix, I think they called it. And uh, the other one was uh, a, a layout kind of program. But I'm like, it, it seems like a lot of mock-up stuff that then you later change it. You know, we start here, and then we move it to the, the big boy tools over on our computer over here. You're not, I think a lot of people don't think of this as a replacement of your of your computer, but it's kind of a, your portable can get most of the things done. They're talking about iMovie being able to support 4K. I think they said that you can do four streams of 4K, and I was listening to the twit line, and, and the comment was, yeah, but maybe you shouldn't, you know, um, should you, but... You know, yeah, you can, but but what's really going to happen when you when you shoot the 4K video on this thing? Uh, I I think for me, it, it, does it work for me if there's that application for it? This is like the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch is starting to get my attention because you're seeing things like uh, GoPro apps that'll put the viewfinder right on your watch, right? That's interesting to me. That starts getting my attention from a professional capacity. When you add something like this Apple Pen, if, if, if it performs, maybe, and this is, again, something illustrators need to, need to answer for me uh, when they get their hands on this versus, versus a, 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 a stylus on, on the Surface Pro or something like that or some other Windows computer. Does this thing really work better? If you're an illustrator, this is probably going to make a whole lot of sense for you. And yes... The name Apple Pencil is absolutely freaking ridiculous. I'm not going to discount that at all. There were laughs, audible laughs from the crowd during the announcement of this. I get it. There's a smart keyboard. It's the first time I, well, I, not the first time. No, not the first time that there's been a keyboard, but the first time there's been a nice soft keyboard, which they awfully ganked, obviously ganked off of uh, the idea of the Surface. 
Okay, there's that. But you still have your hardware keyboards you can get for this thing, I'm sure, like this thing is. I mean, the old 30 pin connector and everything. But I, you know, this thing, I love this thing because I have a Wi Fi mushy keyboard for my iPad to carry around with it. And it's just so not as responsive. And, and I'm hoping this. Um, I'm hoping this kind of trickles down to regular iPads in, in some capacity, uh, or I should just need to suck it up and buy a better keyboard in general. So, anyways. But what can you do with this thing? Um, the video production side, uh, the power behind it, I think, is is significant. We've talked in the past, our, our friend Z uh, has a, uh, you know, the TouchCast application she's been using with her her, uh, her her class in her school. I'm sorry. I feel sorry for her because she has this really nice rig that you put the iPad in and even has an adapter so you can put the iPad minis in. Um, and they actually swap out depending on battery and their, how full they are and everything. And uh, now it's not going to fit this damn thing. Uh, but uh, could you imagine this thing? There's going to be something very soon that I can put this on top of a tripod. And now I have more power behind this. And already with the iPads, they're doing green screens live. They're doing graphics live on this thing. It's a mini studio. Like what I'm doing with Wirecraft, the wire, Wirecraft, Wirecast with the, uh, uh, you know, graphics on the bottom and I can do transitions and everything is doing right there in the iPad. Um, you're just kind of mitigated to the camera on the iPad, unfortunately. I'm not sure if the, what the camera's going to be on this one. I'm hoping they spared no expense on, the, on that part of this device. I'm not seeing specs for I guess I have a comparison point here I can check out. But uh, that's one major thing because anything video, you want as much power as possible. And they're saying that this is going to be desktop performance. So the speculations, again, from the Twitch stream yesterday was saying, hey, I'm pretty sure this is going to be um, we're only like a year or so away from them just putting OS X on here. And if that happens, I think that's going to be a killer app. Uh, you, you're seeing everything coming from either side. Um, OS X is looking more like it. The last MacBook they said is all the stuff they learned from making iPads over the years. The Retina or the, the, the iPad Pro is getting closer to, well, it's still an iPad, but it's, a, it's supposed to be as powerful as a MacBook. It's not. It's obviously not going to be a MacBook Pro, I don't think, but still it's uh, fairly, fairly significant. And I think uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to solve a lot of uh, problems. Now, FaceTime HD camera, iSight camera, we are looking at uh, 720p HD video. So again, that kind of that kind of uh, and that's your face, that's actually your FaceTime, that's actually the one looking at you. They don't give a resolution for video. Oh, video recording, 1080p uh, HD recording video. They have the tap of focus while well in their face detection, everything. Uh, so that is not as nice of a camera as what we got on the latest of iPhones, but I think that's going to be as good. Saying it's 8 megapixel HD uh, hybrid IR filters, etc., etc. Uh, I think that's going to be about equivalent at least to last year's iPhone, which is definitely nothing to scoff at. To be honest, I was kind of still looking at uh, grabbing some iPhone 4s and just using them as spare cameras. You know, maybe some stuff in here in the studio because I think wire, the new version of Wirecast will take those and stuff like that. You know, um, it, it's I I don't have the answers for what is this good for because we have to see the apps. Um, just doing what I do on an iPad but bigger, I don't know if that works. Uh, but there's some people, illustrators, video people. I think this is going to be very significant. It's going to be worth the eight hundred bucks. Uh, they're they're or a thousand plus bucks if you get the uh, bigger versions of this. Um, uh, this is a significant change, and, and it's going to be for pros. This is this is not even though they say, oh, it's great for sitting around and reading comics and reading the news on your couch. I don't know about that, guys. I, I don't. <laughs> it's it's going to be good for you to get work done. Is the thing. It's gonna be a. It is going to solidify this thing as a desktop replacement for a lot of people. It doesn't do everything, but does it do the things that you needed to do? I think that's the answer. That's a question gets answered when we talk about the Chromebooks. Does it do everything? No, but it does the things that I need to do right now. And and I'm talking to a lot of friends where that is really kind of setting the the pace for that kind of thing. Let me know, what do you think about the iPad Pro? Are you in that minority that will probably pick up an iPad Pro? 
Notice how how much they just kind of slid off. Oh yeah, the iPad Air 2, it's here. And uh, and the uh, Mini 4 is an upgrade that is like the Air 2 and and that and the other thing. And yay, iPads. We've really commoditized these things a little bit. Um, they're just like, hey, this got a spec bump, whatever. Just like we have with Macs. Wait, this is supposed to be the only announcement for the year. The Macs will get updated and nobody's going to talk about it basically so you probably won't see until wwdc another announcement from these guys and uh and that's it let me know what you think of the ipad pro at sorgatron on the twitter basic sorgonomics over on sorgatron.com uh give me comments over there as well and sign up for the newsletter and we'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com